Good day folks. Today on the bench I want to tie you up a new pattern I just come up with. It's Brent's Swimming Damsel. And here's the fly right here. It is a really nice pattern. I really enjoyed coming up with this one. It's uh, some of the newer materials or whatever I just, just found. It matched the naturals about as good as anything I've ever seen. and doing quite well with it so we get the materials ready to tie this fly and show you what we'll use as a for the hook I'm going to use a swimming nymph hook it's a 1770 Daiichi is one of the makes we're going to tie it with some olive 8 dot thread for the body and the thorax I'm going to use some Arizona synthetic dubbing right out of the bag it's golden peacock blend. For the tail material I'm going to use some uh, light olive or golden olive saddle hackle. For the rib I'm going to use some small copper wire. And for the eyes I had some small or medium uh, mono eyes here to go on and they were just a little bigger and I liked to see for this pattern. I'm size uh, 12 for this one those eyes would have worked better on a size 10. So I'm just going to use some 40 pound, uh, this is green mono, uh, a big game mono, I'm going to use that to make my eyes. Okay, so let's get a hook in the vise and get right to it. Start here with a curved nymph hook, I want to make sure I've got my, uh, that area of the fly the thorax, I want it laying sitting horizontal right at this present time. My cam lock just opened up on me there. I cover my shank. Now I'm going to grab some of my 40 pound and this is green. You can you can use some clear if you don't have green. I just I had it laying around so I'm going to cut a pretty generous chunk of that. It's probably an uh, inch and a half to two inches long. Just going to X that on the top of the shank here. There we go. Important is you tie your thread off, get it out of the way because it's going to get a little bit warm here. We're going to melt that right on the on the shank to size. I'm going to just kind of even these up so it makes me about the same size of an eye. Then I'll bring in my little bit lighter. And just warm that up. Blow that off when it's about the right size. Well, you can just keep adding a little bit of flame until you get the size you want. Even clear mono, they kind of burn black or kind of a pig color. So they make some pretty neat eyes. You make them yourself. Um, for all different size flies, if you don't don't have what you need, you try to make it, okay? Now I'm just going to X that on again just to get my thread started, go to the back of the hook. We're going to dress our hook here right to the bend. And I'll take one of my hackles. Here we're just using some inexpensive hackles. This is all good for legging and tailing material and so forth. So this web your hackle at the back and I'll just pinch that on. It can be, the tail can be fairly long. There we go. It's even splayed. That looks alright too. Looks good. Just tie the butts down. I'm just going to come in here with some copper wire for rib. I did try some pearl rib on this fly because I like the pearl on some of my nymphs and so forth. It's really cool but it just it seemed to take over the pattern too much. I wanted that wasn't quite right. I like the gold wire or the copper wire on this. And then I'm going to get my um, Arizona synthetic peacock dubbing. This, this is great stuff. I'm going to put a thin 
dubbing on here. You can use a dubbing loop. Take your time, it's got a nice spiky dub. I'm going to come back, we're going to make sure we taper the body on this, thin. And then we're going to start building our body. I'm going to start tapering it forward. It's a little bit thicker right in there. It's good. Damsels aren't very heavy, they're, they're pretty slender, as you know. See them swimming in the water, you look for them, they're in there, and they're definitely a food item that fish will key in on. And you aren't fishing what they're eating, if they're on the damsel hatch, you could be out of business. Okay, so that looks pretty good for now. I'm going to turn it up here again, now I'm just going to uh, work on my thorax. I'm going to just use some uh, light olive scudback material. I think I forgot to mention that. It was on my bench here. i never seen it when I was telling you what I need for materials. Light olive, 1 8 inch. I'm just going to tie it in behind the eye. Catch it in there. Take my thread to the eye. And then pull my material over the top and catch it in the front of the eyes. Come in behind the eyes to the thorax area again and uh, another half hitch or you can put another dubbing loop in there you guys with the standard vices okay and then bring in some more of this synthetic peacock it's all the same color we're just going to use one. I like I like buggy materials, like I always keep telling you, and this one here looks really good. That synthetic peacock material is great dubbing. Comes in so many colors, 50 colors I believe. Like you can match naturals anywhere with the selection Bill Romer, or John Romer out of Arizona come up with. Okay, so that gives us a pretty buggy thorax for now. I'm going to pull uh, the shell back or the top of the wing case, clip that off, and we're just going to tie it off at that point right back there behind the thorax. Okay, now we're just going to um, bring in a dubbing teaser. It's going to tease us back a little bit. I want these fibers kind of laying back. That looks so much better in the water when they're combed back. And you can see the translucency that that will give us. It looks like pretty gold. It doesn't look like really not the color of a nymph, does it? Or mayfly nymph. It's a little too yellowish. Well, not yellowish because a lot of them are yellow. But pretty gold. But I would just want to show you something here when we... We've got another one tied up that we looked at earlier. Okay. What you want to do with your materials a lot of times, guys, when and gals that are tying, these colors change in the water so much. You get them wet. You tie lots on the vise, they look great. You get them in the water, and they just are not the color you thought. I'm just going to dump it, give this one a little dunk, just to show you what I mean. And um, get this one out here. Let me uh, grab my... Nymph, I put it in a drink glass, of course. We got it right in the bottom. Let me get that out. I want to get it a good, a good drench in here to show you the color, the color variation here. Now look at how that changed. <clears throat> well, the color of that is perfect. The nymphs I've seen fish in my lake over here, or a lot of the lakes I'm fishing, that nails it. That absolutely nails it. And as far as I'm concerned, you want a very, very nice imitation for damsel nymphs. And that is my favorite right there. I just found this golden peacock synthetic uh, dubbing is just amazing. So give this one a whirl and uh, wish you all the very best because the damsel hatch is one of the most exciting hatches you can fish. The four inch hand twist generally the deal slower sink lines. You can go with even a floating line. I prefer not to. I prefer to have a clear intermediate when I'm fishing near the surface. So 
because they doesn't have the line disturbance. That's where the clear the floating lines are not really that great in lakes when you're retrieving. So anyway, have a great day. Hope to see you in the water soon. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.